The word is rock hazak. You may have heard me talk about this before. You may have seen it on our website. You may have seen it in other videos. You may have heard Steve talk about it. But what does it mean? Now, in the simplest form, it means audacious certainty of success. But I want to bring a little bit more reality to that. I want to bring a little bit more visibility to that and why the message is so important for today. More so, I think, than at any point in time in history. Because in my belief, we see the darkness coming. We see the darkness begin to envelop the world, to envelop our political systems, our governments, our businesses, our corporations, and the people themselves. And we have to have something spiritual to fight back. We do have the word of his testimony. We do have the sword of the armor of God. We have the sword of the spirit. We have these things. But we need to add to that a war cry. And the war cry is rock hazak. Now I'm going to read something out of Hebrews. And I love Hebrews. I just began I just read the the book of Hebrews and it was eye opening for me it was amazing it was brilliant it was stuff that I had never seen before because I never took the time to actually research it to read it to ask the spirit of God to open up these things so that I might understand but I'm going to read for a little bit because it's a long chapter but it's important Chapter 11, verse 24, we start, By faith, Moses, when he became a man, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. And he chose to be in suffering with the people of Elohim and not to live indulgently in sin, in sin for a short season. And he considered the reproach of the Mashiach a greater treasure than the hoarded riches of Egypt. For he looked towards the reward. By faith he left Egypt and was not terrified by the wrath of the king. He continued to hope, just as if he saw the invisible Elohim. By faith they kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood that he who who destroyed the firstborn might not approach them. By faith, they passed the Red Sea of Reeds as on dry land. And in, and in it, the Egyptians were swallowed up when they dared to enter it. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down when they had been circled for seven days. By faith, Rahab the harlot did not die with them who did not believe when she received the spies in peace. What more will I say, for I have little time to tell of Gideon and of Bar Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah and of David and of Samuel and of all the other prophets who by faith dominated kingdoms and worked righteousness, and received promises, and closed the mouths of lions, and quenched the force of fire, and were rescued from the edge of the sword, and were healed of diseases, and became strong in battle, and routed the camps of enemies, and restored to women their children by a resurrection from the dead, and some died under tortures and did not hope to escape that there might be for them a better resurrection. And others endured mockings and scourgings. Others were delivered up to bonds and prisons. Others were stoned. Others were saved, sawed. Others died by the edge of the sword. Others roamed about and clothed in sheepskins and got skin and goatskins and were needy, and afflicted, and agitated. This is important, because this is the counterintuitive nature of so many things of the Bible. This is Rock Hazak. 
Verse 38. Persons of whom the world was not worthy. And yet they were as wanderers in the desert and in mountains and in the caves and in caverns of the earth. And all these of whose faith there is testimony did not receive the promise because Elohim had provided the aid for us that without us they should not be perfected. Wow! What a statement. You know, whether anybody believes whether Paul wrote this or Timothy or anybody else wrote this, I continually come back to that verse. And particularly where he says in verse 38, persons of whom the world was not worthy. Now, Christian, I have a question to ask you. And I ask myself that question every single day. Am I a person of this world? Am I a person of whom this world is not worthy? Am I willing to sacrifice everything? Am I willing to lay down my life for what I believe in? Not just what I believe in, but what is truth? What is the truth of Elohim? We have a certainty of success, but we don't know it. There's too many of us out there who are sitting there and we read these words of the Bible and then we act in direct contradiction to what those words say. We have a certainty of success. And rock, hazak, is nothing more than that audacious certainty of success. And that's why it's important because it reminds us every day, every minute, every time we say it of who we are. That Yeshua said he comes back for us. He goes to make a place for us. He goes to create a place for us. And he promises that if he goes away to create that place, he will return. He will return and take us back home with him. If that's not audacious certainty of success, then I don't know what is. By faith, we believe. We believe in his word. We believe in his resurrection. But it's time to start living that. It's time to put aside all of those, those secret sins. And not just the secret ones, but the open ones. It's time to get before the face of Yahweh. And ask for forgiveness. To repent of our sins. To ask Him to change us. To ask Him for the Ruach HaKodesh that He promised. He said... If I don't go, then the Redeemer will not come. But he did go, and the Redeemer has come. Whew! Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's a reason that these we have this roadmap. We have this message. I don't have anything else to say right now. Go in peace. Just as the Bible says. Walk in love one towards another. By this. This brotherhood. This sisterhood. This love. The world will know that you are my disciples. And that's just as applicable for us today. As it was then. <laughs>